Welcome back to the Sprinkler channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Hunter PGJ and how to choose the best nozzle for your needs, all right? And so make sure whenever you grab the PGJ that you also grab a set of the different nozzles that comes with each head, okay? And then you're going to make, want to make sure that you have the Hunter adjustment tool, all right? This guy right here you need that one so that way you can do what we're about to do, okay? So when you get the Hunter PGJ, you can use the slot, that the pull-up slot here on the side. You can see it right here on the side where PGJ says Hunter PGJ on the side. You'll see elongated slot. We're gonna use the tab part of the, the adjustment tool. Insert there, turn it about an eighth of a turn. It'll catch on and then we can pull the head up and see the nozzle right there, okay? So with that, we're gonna to have to grab it either like this or what we can do might make it a little bit easier is just unscrew the head and then, and then we can just uh, grab the bottom of it. It might be easier to work with in this position. After we get to the nozzle, then we can remove the nozzle if the 2.0 is not what we need. But first of all, let's take a look at the, hun uh, the Hunter charts for the nozzles to see exactly how to read the charts and, and know exactly which you might need for your certain lawn area or application, the distance that you need to go, okay? So over on this link that I'll share down below in the comments, um, we can see the, all the different red nozzles, right? And so we have here, we have, there's numbers on these nozzles from all the way from 0.75 all the way up to 5.0 right down the middle of here. And as we get to the higher numbers, that's gonna let out more water. So these are all your different option nozzles. Let's look at the charts to understand what each one is capable of doing. It's good to know that the ideal pressure of operating for these heads is 40 PSI, and that's why it's gonna be boldened right here in the middle, because that's gonna be ideally the pressure that you're working with. You have to measure that pressure to know exactly what you're working with or you back into it by how far it throws and to know the gallons per minute, okay? So let's take this 2.0 that's already installed. Let's look at that 2.0, and then we know if, if we have 40 PSI to our sprinkler system, that it's gonna shoot a distance of 25 feet, okay? That's gonna be the radius of how far the water sprays out. And the flow is gonna be 2.0, 2.2 gallons per minute, okay? So every minute it's pumping out two gallons of water over that distance that it's covering, you know, dispersed through the, throughout that area. And then the last two columns right here is talking about precipitation rates measured in inches per hour. So that's kind of when you see on the news, rainfall inches per hour, that's kind of what you're, you can equate it to. Um, and then the two columns, once if you have a pattern where you have uh, four heads in a square pattern, that's what the precipitation rates that you're gonna get, the 0 0.6 inches per hour in, in that you know, area of lawn. If you have a triangular uh, where you have three heads that are kind of making a triangle pattern, then you're gonna get a little more uh, precipitation rate at 0 0.69 inches per hour, okay? so. Uh, this one only has four. For whatever reason, we're gonna look at four because this is the largest one that comes, uh, at least on this on this set, okay? And over at 4.0, at 40 PSI, okay, so we have the 4.0 nozzle, 40 PSI, it's gonna shoot 34 feet distance radius, and that's gonna be putting out four gallons per minute and then precipitation rates, square pattern, 0.67 inches an hour, or triangular pattern, 0.77, okay? So you can start seeing as you put on, the, makes a big difference whether you're putting out four gallons per minute or putting out two gallons per minute, and that all goes into your design. So with that said, let's say we're gonna be switching, we need four gallons uh, per minute, you know, we're gonna be covering that 34 feet and to get a good uh, watering to that large area we need to up it and have that four gallons per minute so this is how we're going to 
take out the nozzle and the slot with the arrow, we're gonna put the hexagon end of the adjustment tools down in there, let it rotate all the way to the left so it doesn't turn on you. And then we're gonna back out that screw going counterclockwise. Um, but so we don't have to take it all the way out, just enough to where that nozzle can come out, okay? And then this is actually where that rain board tool could come into play is by just inserting that flat head, small flat head on the side of the head right there um, and then prying out carefully. So you can kind of see we're starting to pull it out. It kind of comes out at an angle, a 45 degree angle, okay? So we'll grab that and then just wiggle that out if it wants to cooperate. And then, and then it goes flying. Okay, so now that we remove the 2.0 like that, Okay, we'll put that to the side. And now we have, now we just have that 4.0. We're gonna twist it. We're gonna try to make sure we don't have an extra little note on it when we take it off, because that will cause some issues down the road. So just wiggle it enough to where it breaks off and then just make sure that little uh, burr of plastic, you can kind of get rid of that like that. Okay, because that we don't want it to keep us from inserting the nozzle all the way in to where it needs to go, okay? So once we got that taken care of, now we're gonna go back here. This is what it looks like without any nozzle in it. And then we're gonna make sure that we insert it, you know, the right side up so we can see the 4.0 and then it will slide in there at an angle, okay? So with you trying to see what I'm doing here, I'll do it backwards. Hopefully we can do that. And then it should just be able to slide down into it like that. Okay. And then just make sure it's pressed in far enough to where it's flush. If it's not pushed in far enough, when it gets down to here, it's not going to be able to retract all the way in. Okay. So once you, you know that it's all the way pushed in all the way, then once it's pushed in all the way, then the screw will be able to go in front of that nozzle and be able to hold it in. So taking, once again, the hunter tool with the hexagon end, then we're gonna get back on that set screw and start rotating it to the right clockwise. And then you'll start seeing that set screw come down in front of the nozzle. And that's what's gonna hold that nozzle in the sprinkler head, okay? And just leave it wherever it was before. If you had it shortened the distance, whatever, but if you don't want it to be adjusting, if we want the full 37 feet, then we just have to screw it down just enough before it starts touching the stream of water coming out, okay? So and that's how you select and change the nozzle in the Hunter PGJ rotor head, okay? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.